Welcome to Keystone Closing Day. Everyone on the East Coast and the Midwest is pissed because this mountain has no reason to close. They always say it's some elk migration or whatever, but this is the earliest close I think I've ever seen them do. April 7th. Enough talking. Let's go get our last days at Keystone. Helping me with today's video is Tristan. Yeah. Because Cody's at a wedding. <laughs> our only goal is to have a better day than the last day we were at Keystone because we didn't have the best day. <laughs> Let's go for this wind lift pill. <laughs> looks like first run, we're just running in stuff. This is unique. Oh, this looks unique. <laughs> it is unique. <laughs> I think it's like mega vertical. We're almost to the steep spot. Why is the uh, challenge rail closed? Oh, because it melted down. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I got got. That's crazy. Let me see this. It's definitely a challenge. No. You hit this thing, you're dead. <laughs> I'm surprised that's the only close sign they have up. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Dude, that Look at is. The jumps, they're so melted down. Back on, I'm a little scared to hit anything. Here we go. This thing always hurts my knees. Oh. This thing looks crazy. Whoa, that's actually money. I've never seen anything. I guess they're blocking. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> what happened to these jumps? They laid off the entire terrain park crew, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, we close in a week, so you're all fired. <laughs> no more park crew. Yeah, it's doing okay. Heck yeah. yeah Sweet bindings. <laughs> and I got Those are sick. 39 bucks, can I see you? Nice. $39. $39, what a steal. <laughs> that was so <laughs> sketchy. Eventually, this is gonna get faster. <laughs> Should we at least go check out the jumps? We can go look at them. Yes. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I have no idea what I mean, they've done to these like the, the snow melt. It's not even a jump anymore. It's literally like cockeyed. Like the kicker's this way, the, the landing's this way. <laughs> Someone had a violent ending right there. <laughs> That's like the nicest rail in the park. Where'd this fence come from? What up guys? No, I've done pond skims, but I've never done this one. Why does everybody say no like that? Have you ever fallen in one? No, I've never even been on water in my school. <laughs> it's freezing. Yeah. Also like, you think your gear is waterproof until you fall in and you get immediately wet. <laughs> You're like, oh, water resistant. No speed. Watch out, Tristan, behind you. There's a rail behind you. Ah! <laughs> my bad. My bad. Oh I was my. like, Tristan, the speed is so weird, dude. You will die, Tristan. My bad. <laughs> Wind blown snow is so different than like fallen snow, just so you guys know. I caught. I caught an edge. Okay, what is my playlist on right now? Went from ACDC to last Friday night. <laughs> All right, so clearly speed is an issue and there's a lot of windblown snow just everywhere. If there was a park crew here, they would go dig out the features in the snow around them and then that would help increase the speed and you can land the rail going to the next trail. It's just kind of like Keystone definitely gave up. Mm -hmm. It is this park. From the very beginning this year, we've had some glimpses of greatness. These jumps were good for a minute, but then once they started melting down, they just couldn't rebuild them back to their glory. And it's just, ah, 
I've complained a lot about Keystone this year. I've done it a lot in the years in the past. It's just like last year was like, oh, it's going, it's getting better. It was so good. And then this year is like, no, we tricked you. We're so bad. But we have about a month at Copper yeah. with Tristan, which is yeah. going to be sick. And so you guys should subscribe for that. I really want to hit park hard just because I feel like I haven't got the park riding this year that I've wanted. And if you also haven't got the park riding that you wanted and your resort is closing down or just giving up like Keystone has, you guys can get redemption or just extend your season with an all-inclusive adult snowboard camp to Timberline Ski Resort in Mount Hood. This is June 9th through the 15th. It's all-inclusive. So you buy your spot, you buy your plane ticket. I will then pick you up, take you to our rad nice camp house that usually has a hot tub. We're going to feed you guys. We're going to go ride five days in a row. We're going to film you. I'm going to coach you on snow. Then we're going to go do video breakdowns, show you what you're doing wrong. So then we can come back the next day and implement those changes and you get better at shredding, whether that is carving 180s 360s intro to boxes intro to jumps whatever you want to learn and if you're like 40 or 50 and you're like i'm too old for this camp you're not we actually have two 40 year olds signed up already this year we've had 50 year olds come to camp but also if you're a young gun and you're like i want to throw a 720s i got you we'll get you there come to summer camp it's the most rad thing in the world it's linked in the description uh, mount hood oregon we do this every year this is our fifth annual camp come join us do it do it. All right, here we go. Everyone wants to know, is Molo hitting the pond skip? Happy last day. You moving back home? Uh, no, I'm staying out here, man. Heck yeah, it's the move. The summers are better than the winters. Oh yeah. Faster. That's kind of cool, the sea and the sea. So Nabel finally made it. He didn't get blown off I-70. It's a little that bit of a windy a, yeah. day. That was a very wild ride to get here. But uh, the last time we were here, we had a fantastic day at Keystone. Are we about to talk smack about Keystone right now? <laughs> <laughs> because uh, Why? Because they haven't maintained the park? They and, like, haven't maintained the park. The, the slush cup this year, the little rail jam they had was a little one-hit wonder, <laughs> tiny thing. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I miss the good days. The days that motivated <laughs> me to get Keystone tattooed right here. I miss those days. I never got Keystone tattooed on me, but if they keep running parks like this, I definitely won't. <laughs> I definitely want to cover it up now. On that note, if you guys want to get a tattoo, guess what we have now available on the sticker website. They're temporary on, evolution like, tattoos. They're the sickest thing. Oh, if good. you want to get a uh, temporary buckhouse tattoo, tattoo oh. and be looking rad or just scare your mom, the temporary buckhouse tattoos are linked down below. I need one of them. I'll put it on my forehead whenever I go home. But like, Jonathan paid me a lot of money to put this on my forehead. Dude, I'll have a heart attack. Funny. There's so many people that are trying to get the wind drift powder and they're just get, catching edges and getting stuck in the snow. It's so funny. <laughs> okay, that was sick. I like that. Cool. <laughs> trying to get a back swap on this. We decided we were going to do a quick little pow lap. I'm not going to lie, I have no idea what you're talking about, so I'm following you. Follow me! Supposed to be a pipe? <laughs> oh. Ah! oh, this one. Or a quick oh, little detour from the steel. We're gonna do another one of those pal lines, but we gotta get there first. Let's try and do another butter pad press trick into it. <laughs> I don't know how good that press was. 
Oh, do we get it? Yeah, <laughs> we got it. Finally. I've been working on back swaps on this that guy. Good for a 180. <laughs> oh, dude, the mic. <laughs> the mic. No, this is sketch, bro. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is pretty sick. All right. I, I guess, guess as good as the pal's going to get. Yep. Yeah, so the powder's not really going to get any better, but you know what is always getting better and just improving and improving? Today! Sticker shout out. We got Wake Skate WM with the white ski sticker on helmet. Look at it saying, guys, you want evolution sticker. We have so many colors and styles and versions for anybody's style out there, even a skier. We just did a ski version. Put all the snowboarders. Sick sticker! <laughs> I think I have my sticker on his helmet. So many of you guys are repping the sticker. I love seeing them in the wild. I love seeing them on your gear. So snag an evolution sticker. Tag me on Instagram so I can see it. But I can also give you guys gear and sticker shout outs and say thank you in the videos for snagging the merch and supporting the dreams. How we do it for a living is you guys snagging the merchandise. And so, yeah. Be ready for that. The pal turns were good. Back to some steel. And then we're, we, I got to get out of here. It's a short day for me. Word. So, uh, a couple more on us, guys. Here we go. Heck yeah. Keep keep flying. Calling. That was rad. Let's do the pod skip. Oh, you are? <laughs> you excited? Same thing. Same thing. <laughs> I hope it's cool. I, I think the tail one was better. The tail was a little better. <laughs> that was interesting. Kind of. <laughs> that was... Oh my gosh. That was probably the cleanest one. No, nah, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> it finally got fast enough to try it. Heads up, there are people below here though. Yeah, I see them. <laughs> this is my channel now. This is my channel. <laughs> forgot to mention if keystone season is ending it doesn't mean your season has to end you can actually ride all summer long with today's video sponsor the summer board this is the street snowboard it absolutely rips cement literally you're carving it like a snowboard going from toe edge to heel edge you do full flat ground 360s it goes up to 28 miles per hour so not only can you cruise but you can go a long distance and it literally feels like you're ripping a snowboard now this thing is electric and you're just going to be cruising around having the best time ever so if you want to prolong your season be able to practice in Texas or Florida or just send it in the skate parks like a gnarly crazy person like that's what I've been doing with the thing it is so much fun and you guys can snag a summer board link the description and once again this is what I do in the off season to just keep snowboarding to keep ripping to keep sending it the summer board is so much fun but it is so beautiful and nice to just take onto trails you don't have to get gnarly in the skate parks like I've been getting so summer board snag one they're awesome all righty, this one is Chipmunk. Chipmunk. Big shout out to Tristan for filming today. Appreciate you, dude. They are doing the pond skim down low, but we're not going to check it out because last year Nate did a belly flop in it and it was like the highlight of the entire time here. Check the video out. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow. Should I go poach it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doggy style. Doggy style. Doggy style. Doggy style. Doggy style. Doggy style. Those are my sunglasses! I'm so proud of you, Nate. <laughs> Those, are Those are my sunglasses! <laughs> you just left them. No care. Yeah, you left the sunglasses, but you want something. Ow! 
Ow! <laughs> Dude, that hurts so bad. So like, no one's gonna top that belly flop. So we're not gonna go check out the pond skim. This is Chipmunk. Let's get it. There we go, Tristan, Chipmunk. Here we go. That's not it. Okay. Come on, man, clean that up. <laughs> that was a mess. The park is finally kind of moving. It only took the whole day <laughs> of us just running in the snow to get it to be faster. That Team Hawk House. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh crap. <laughs> Bye Team Hawk House. Um, I will not miss this park yep. this year. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what that was about, but we did have some good days here. But overall, I'm excited to go ride Copper for the next couple weeks and uh, subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button as always. Thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow in another video. It's daily on the show. We do stuff like this daily. daily.